Morning, everyone. Amanda, Karen, Vicki, hope y'all can hear me. If you'll confirm that, that'll help me. Uh, had a little microphone issue lately. Sometimes I have to plug it in two or three times to get it to work correctly. Great. So glad you can hear me. All right. Looks like we've got a few minutes, so I'm just going to sit here and allow the live feed to continue so people will have something to, uh, to click on. And I'm just going to sit here and do some reading while we're waiting for the prayers to begin.
Hey, Edie, Mike, Henry, Chuck. Looking forward to praying with y'all today. Got a beautiful short poem about prayer by Mary Oliver that I'm going to read to y'all today as a meditation. Good morning to everyone. The service of noonday prayers uh, with St. Mark's Episcopal Church will begin in just a moment. If you'd like to read along with us in these prayers, they begin on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, okay, I'm sorry about the barking dog. Apparently it's got somebody else's dog uh, stirred up too. Uh, anyway... Apologize for that. Let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall, shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. This poem and one of the prayers I'm going to read you uh, at the end of today's prayers is found from a book called Common Prayer, A Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals by uh, Shane Claiborne and Jonathan Wilson Hartgrove and Enuma Okoro. And uh, there's a prayer in here for today. And there is a little set of prayers for every day of the year with, a, with Mary Oliver's poem called Praying. And it's so short I'd like to read it twice. It doesn't have to be the blue iris. It could be weeds in a vacant lot or a few small stones. Just pay attention. Then patch together a few words and don't try to make them elaborate. This isn't a contest, but the doorway into thanks and a silence in which another voice may speak. A second reading of Praying by Mary Oliver. It doesn't have to be the blue iris. It could be weeds in a vacant lot or a few small stones. Just pay attention. Then patch a few words together and don't try to make them elaborate. This isn't a contest, but the doorway into thanks and a silence in which another voice may speak. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Episcopal Church, Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop in the United States, Larry, our bishop here in Arkansas, St. Mark's clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanna, and Billy, St. Mark's staff and vestry. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Church of Nigeria. In our diocesan cycle for St. Mary's in Monticello, St. Andrew's in Mountain Home. We pray also for peace and an end 
to terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, persecution, racism. Pray for our staff, especially and particularly this week, Ashley Haggard, our youth minister. For our other parish ministries, especially our pastoral care committee. For the safety of first responders everywhere, health care workers, those in the military, for doctors, nurses, for Sam and Breen and Marshall. Pray for those committed to our prayers, Don, Tim, Cole, Austin, John, Art, Madison, Becky, Pat, Paul, Rachel, Dean, Irene, Diana, Pam, Betsy, Carl, Cynthia, Lori, Samantha, Dale, Ashley, Jerry, Mathal, Craig, Becky, Megan, Ward, and Bobby. For those expecting children, Marley and Taylor Gamble. For those celebrating birthdays or anniversaries this week. And pray for those who have died, remembering today especially Mary Thompson and Marty Shifley, who died a couple of weeks ago. Also, I want to read uh, another, a couple of other prayers from, from this book called Common Prayer. One for today. Lord, you have appointed some to be prophets. Give us ears to hear and mouths to speak. You have appointed some to sing of your goodness in the streets. Make us bold to celebrate you. You have called some to be still. Listen and act. Give us steadiness of mind and singularity of purpose. Amen. And from each of you, we pray for Greg, greetings to all, prayers from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, pray for those in nursing homes, rehab centers, other skilled nursing facilities. Pray for Michael Thompson's family over the death of his mother, Mary. Prayers for Aaron. Pray that we all may be patient and loving with others. That's a hard one. Uh, pray that God would give us long-suffering and patience. And at the same time, give us courage to stand up to do what is right and the wisdom to know when it's time to be quiet and when it's time to speak for Bobby. Pray for Dr. Rose healing after surgery. And now as a concluding prayer, again from this book called Common Prayer, this is for each of you. For the peace, may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors here electronically at St. Mark's. And now let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And also, yes, for Mr. Charles Sibley, uh, uh, we remember him in our prayers. God bless each of you. Amen.